Sorry, trap five, Ribalata. I heard you were down there having a sneaky bet in the ring. Do you fancy her? Well, there's not much point going to a racetrack if you don't have a bet. Uh, I've got, a, I've got a, my best dog in this next race, but it's up against uh, some very good dogs, including an Irish champion. So um, I fear that the Irish economy may do better than mine, but that's life, isn't it? The hair's on its way. Good luck, Lord Esketh. Here's Errol. Twice round for the Star Sports Durando Marathon. Eight bends here. 906 metres and away they go. It's a great start from four. Ribble Atom leads up early here from two. Slick Strauss in second. So go round the bend and it's Lord Hesketh's. Meadow out in front now leads from two in second place. Slick Strauss. After these comes three. Anita's baby. After these comes six inch forward. Then we got uh, after these Adamant Jim as they go round the third bend and head end to the straight for the first time. They begin to group up. Slick Strauss is the new leader. Slick Strauss out in front. Leads here from three, Anita's baby, then comes six, Adamant Jim, seven, trying to make a move, JT Patriot, after these comes one, I Am the Breeze is beginning to pick its way through the field. Slick Strauss being pressed now as they start to queue up in behind, Slick Strauss around the outside, JT Patriot begins to make its move, on the inside is I Am the Breeze, after these comes six, inch forward, as they come round the final bend, and it's Slick Strauss finding extra, Slick Strauss leads for I Am the Breeze, who's closing with every stride, I Am the Breeze! He's got up to win the Durando, beats Slick Strauss in second place. Over the line in third was inch forward. It was a win for I Am the Breeze right near the line to beat Slick Strauss in second place. Inch forward over the line in third. Winning the Star Sports Durando Marathon, a win for Mark Wallace, perhaps not with the Ribble Atom, but with I Am the Breeze. Returned at two to one. I am Zabriz wins the Star Sports Durando. Left it late, got there right on the line to pick a very brave Slick Strauss, who'd done most of the donkey work here in the Star Sports Durando for Patrick Janssens. It's another winner for Mark Wallace. Doubles on the night so far for Paul Young and Mark Wallace as we watch the action again last early on was I am Zabriz as they came out of the boxes. Heading down the far side, you can see Ribble Atom towards the rear as well at this stage as they went into the bend. The third turn for Meadow was taken on by three, Anita's baby and two, Slick Strauss. As they went into the straight, Slick Strauss took over with a lap to go. And whilst the cavalry were coming all the time, Slick Strauss was fending them off all the way down to the seventh bend. But in the end, I Am the Breeze was going to find a way through on the inside, inside the closing stages, recording a time of 55.96 as they came into the penultimate turn. Two, Slick Strauss up front here from one, I am Zabriz, who thought about the outside, came inside, went outside, came inside again, and eventually got there on the final stride to pick the pocket of Slick Strauss with inch forward over the line in third place. I am Zabriz, what a wonderful run. You heard from Mark Wallace, who thought that uh, the Greyhound might need a little bit more experience over this distance. Well, it wasn't to be. She was good enough to win the Star Sports Durando Marathon. Enzo Hobbsy, it was another thriller. Well, she was heavily back this morning, Errol, and she's delivered at 2-1. to one. I am the breeze, and the, the stand was shaking when she came with that run off the final bend. And Mark Wallace, just when we thought we were contemplating that Wallace might draw a blank on Derby final night, not a chance, Jonathan Hobbs. Well, the roof has been raised, hasn't it, by I am the breeze. Last to first in the Durando Marathon. It's a storming effort from the young bitch. She came over with a huge reputation. She won well at Sheffield. She reached the Regency final. And she got bowled over when challenging. She's won since over 7.50 at Romford. This was a test. She was up in trip. Would she stay? Boy, she did stay. She did unequivocally, she stayed. Um, and would you believe Mark Wallace, champion trainer, Patrick Jensen's the man who's going to be ultimately disappointed. Used to be Mark's head man. He's a terrific trainer in his own right. His greyhound, Slick Strauss, has run an absolute pearler out front. He's looking to, to keep Irons of Breeze at bay six inch forwards. I mean, a great race for, for Stuart Buckland, Simon Gray, and the crew, the crew. Trap seven, JT Patriot, never far away. But there she comes on the inside. And if we were thinking, Thinking about the potential of Rock's own magic, trying to find something to go against her. Maybe, just maybe, we may have found one.
That was awesome, and she needed all of the... I mean, it was 906 metres. I think it was only the last six metres she got her head in front. That was astonishing. I've never heard a roar like that off the final bend. And, of course, as you say, the subplot was that Patrick Janssen has been denied by his old master. Wallace is saying, I'm still the governor. I am Zabriz, has won an enthralling, a scintillating Star Sports Durando Marathon. That was the Irons of boys. As good a finish as we've seen for a long time. There's Roger Hart in that outrageous jacket. Let's go and join Judy Collier now.